It looks like a guy. Have you seen the nuts on that thing? Of course it's a guy. Then why is the other one humping it? Oh, they're having a biff. They're having a biff. <laughs> Ferrari goat. We've stopped on the hill quickly in the middle of the road as you can see. The giant truck has broken down and he's been smart enough to, to place branches behind the truck as if uh, they are warning triangles and he did it in front of the truck as well. And so, <laughs> so the goats have decided that they're gonna have a go at it. You can tell that the branch further away has been clear, cleaned out already. Hey you guys, gotta get out the road man. Okay, we can. We are in the middle of. I have no idea. I think in the middle of nowhere it doesn't even quite explain where we are. There's a ton of little cultural villages around here though which uh, makes me a little bit more comfortable driving around here in case something does happen to the car. Everyone here has a bicycle. <laughs> We've been driving for about two, three hours now. Uh, we took a turn off at um, Patauk. Um, and one thing we've noticed about Zambia and really noticed that on this bit of road, villages in the three hours from the closest tar road and what what is it like? seven hours from Lusaka is that everyone is so well dressed they just look healthy they look healthy they look friendly and stylish some of them actually so everyone's very friendly everyone waves there's a little church here oh, this one's a bit rough but the road overall has been a lot of fun um, rough in some places bit of 4 by 4 but no corrugation, which is the, oh, I hate it so much. The boat one that makes you do that, and then the, the normal corrugation just drives me insane. And this is, this is slow going, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot to look at around. It's a lot to see, and the driving experience itself is quite nice. Hey, love? Mm. I don't know if this is going to be the best place. I don't know if we're going to make it. This is what happens when you follow the terrible navigator. Well, I was instructed to take the inside road as close as possible to the river. Life was bright. Hello. Here comes big sis. Look at this. You can see the elephants scratch themselves on this tree because they're full of mud from bathing in this. And they come up here and then they have a nice little back scratch. Small things that if you walk around in the bush, 
that you see stuff like this instead of just always looking for a line. There's giraffes back there. We just stopped for lunch, just off the road uh, from Batauk, came through all the villages just before we hit the South Lamongwa border, just before we hit the river, which is just over that tree lining. We just veered off the road into the bush and we got to this dried up water hole. It's beautiful. There's no one here, obviously. It's dead quiet. A few gnats around. And there's a few giraffes in the background, actually, having lunch alongside us. Oh, what's for lunch? Sangers. Mm -hmm. We're having sandwiches! Ham, mustard, motto, everything. Some giraffes in the background to watch. It's not too hot in the shade, actually. No, it's not too bad. It doesn't feel 40 or 41, whatever it said it was. Yeah. Nothing like a fresh sandwich with lettuce in the middle of the bush. Mmm. The crazy monkey. Crazy monkey. With my broom, crazy monkey. My love. <laughs> We're both to get you. Move on and you're going too slowly. I don't care if he's a friendly hippo or not. He might attack as he looks like he wants it. Look at the hippo, he's special, but he doesn't know what he is. And what's his name? Hey, yeah. Did you give him a name or not? Oh, yes, Douglas. Douglas. Douglas, the hippo. Hey, Douglas. We've got quite a few animals here. We've got lots of monkeys and baboons. We've got hedgehogs, warthogs. That's crazy. Yeah, you know you're, you're different. Yeah, I'm a bit different, yeah. Look at that! That's crazy! It will lift my feet normally. Really? That is insane! <laughs> he doesn't like you very much because he teases him. Right, so it's no, to try and keep him back while we go, yeah. he'll he'll follow us. <laughs> what are you doing? It just adds the love. I want to see. I want to see. Oh, no. oh, look what? at him. <laughs> no, he's fine. He's ow. What was that one? Oh yeah, that one. No, watch that one. <laughs> Did he bite you? Yeah, he does bite. <laughs> no, he's fine. Is he? Let's see that again in slow mo. Look at that monkey. He's got his head cocked for the gangster shot already. He's going in for the kill. Is he? Okay. Ow! Is he? Okay. Ow! Is he? Okay. Ow! No, I'm recording him. Put your hand on your pants. What are you doing? I thought this was an ant biting me. <laughs> I'm being attacked. Let's see. Let's see it. Oh, it's bloody vicious. Mate, you've got rabies. I have been attacked by the two most dangerous African animals today and bitten by a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> so we've arrived at our campsite at Croc Valley Camp. It's nice. There's a boma. There's electricity, there's a fireplace, and there's an amazing... Come on, wait, woman. <laughs> this is where we'll make the fire tonight. And then this is what we'll look at. Right at the river, and there's a footpath, an animal footpath. You can tell there's an animal footpath. And I'm going to see if I can fly the drone here too. 
because technically we're outside of the park, so I'm allowed to. As long as I don't fly past the deeper side of the river on that side, then I'm fine. Let's go check out the pool. Been told it's really good. Now let me let me close the windows if we're gonna check out the pool. So the first thing that the guy at reception told us when we got here was when you stop, lock your car, close the windows because the baboons and the monkeys jump in and destroy everything in there. Um, and the second thing he told us, if you've got any fruit, take it out immediately, leave it at reception because the elephants come and then they see your car as a tiny little, um, what's a course block? Tupperware. Little Tupperware and then they open it up and then they take the fruit out. So we've given all the nice mangoes and stuff we brought today to reception. Okay, let's go look at the pool. That's the pool. It's not much of a pool. It's okay. <laughs> That's a replacement pool. Oh, nice. It's a puddle wrapped in bubble wrap. That'll do. It's a, this is under the shade. Look at that. There's a gym in here. It's a spinning bike. It's a boxing bag. It's a nice camp. Nice big restaurant and bar. I mean, the view is spectacular. Oh, they even have a love nest. You can come sit here and get bitten by mosquitoes all night, Nicky. Yeah. Next time on Crikey Africa, this thing. we find a hedgehog, and can it really be 